Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again. We're here with another tutorial, of course, because I'm trying my very best for you guys to put out content. Um, I am 10 days away from giving birth as far as what his due date is, um, but we'll never know. Uh, he might come before. But anyways, I really wanted to um, get this out for you guys before Valentine's Day. It is very simple, very easy, affordable, and drugstore-ish. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Yeah, let's just jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so welcome back. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of the things that I will be using and I'll give you guys some alternatives but for the most part I try to keep this all drugstore obviously the things that I couldn't find drugstore I did make affordable so there are no products in here that are high-end or expensive um, and yeah let's just get this over with right now I'd break my nail so they're about to come off anyways because I'm literally about to give birth in about a week so I want to go down to just regular gel on my hands. But anyways, let's just skip all that. So I did already do my brows off camera, obviously, like always. And I did want to just mention to you guys that it is also drugstore um, related. So that's a plus. I just wanted to add that in because I said it was going to be drugstore or affordable. So this is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It comes with the spoolie and it also has... The retractable it's like slanted I don't know if you guys can tell but um it's a slanted pencil so I really love this because the color isn't too dark or too light and I feel like it doesn't make my eyebrows look extremely intense which I love very very much um, and then to conceal the brows I did use the um, what is it the elf concealer uh, but it's the older one which is the this is the ELF 16 hour camo concealer. This is medium sand, but I honestly did not like this concealer at all. It was very drying um, to me and it really hangs on to your dry patches, especially if you have dry skin, which I totally do. So I didn't like it. I know they came out with the new one, which is hydrating, but I have yet to find that one. So, but all I did was conceal the brows with that. I didn't use it anywhere else. And then as far as the actual lid area, um, to conceal or like prep for the eyeshadow I did use the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade medium beige these I think run for like five six maybe seven dollars um, so that's affordable unfortunately it's not really drugstore but I think some drugstores are actually starting to sell LA Girl correct me if I'm wrong but anyways, um, yeah, so I did already prep the eyes and now um, I do want to mention that I do have extensions on right now because obviously I'm going to give birth soon so I needed to be popping during birth so I got them done. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to actually be using the Jaclyn Hill palette which is affordable for this look. Um, and if you guys don't want to spend money or support her or that brand or whatever, I found another alternative, which is the Carly Bible um, BH Cosmetics collab. This is a little bit older, so I don't know if Ulta still carries this, and this is the first one she came out with. So it's a smaller one, but the colors that I'm going to be using on the eye are very similar to the colors, um, and you can definitely find them in this palette. I believe this palette was like 12 or $14, so very, very inexpensive. But like I said, this one I think was a little bit more. This one was, I think, 35 But obviously, you get what you pay for. So this one has way more colors inside. But like I said, I feel like they're similar. They're very, like, um, mauve brown, neutral tones that you can use for even an everyday look, not necessarily a Valentine's Day look. So I'm just going to go ahead and start going in with um, the first shade from the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe, let's see... I'm going to take my Morphe M411 brush, which looks like this, and I'm going to go ahead and be dipping it into the shade. This shade right here in the second row from the palette over the third color over, I think I lost the little clear thing that had the names on this, or I don't know if this one had uh, names from the palette, but yeah, so I'm going to be going in with that shade and just putting it right into the crease here. And you're just going to pack and then start pushing the color over because you want the most um, density here for the color. And then you want the rest to like lighten up. So you're going to start pushing it in. And then you can start working the color in circular motions. That way it gets a good blend. 
I didn't realize how hard it was or is to do your eyeshadow with extensions on because they're totally in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do this eye really quickly as well. Alright, so now that I'm done with that color, I'm going to go ahead and blend this uh, color out with another color. So I want to tell you guys that I am... Oh, no, no, no. My palette fell. I'm so clumsy, I swear. And as I got pregnant, er, it's only got worse, er. Um, so I'm going in with the Crown Brush C441 Pro Blending Crease Brush. This is a huge fluffy brush and focus. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with that brush and this shade right here, which is right next to the shade that we just finished using, which is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more on the nude side. So we're going to go in with that one. Actually, I'm going to mix them. So that one and this shade right here, which is the first matte shade next to these three um, sparkly ones. <laughs> and we're going to mix those two colors just so that we're able to blend the top correctly. And I'm just moving this all in circular motions as well. Tap off, tap off any excess. It just helped the colors really blend together. That way that a uh, little bit darker, well the first color we took doesn't look so harsh. Let me zoom you guys in. Up close and patient. I just really want you guys to see this live action up close. So you can see what I'm talking about. You see how it looks really blended now? And look at this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye as well. Alright, so now that I finished this eye, we're going to go even much deeper now in the crease area. So I'm going to be taking this brown actually right here, which is the second row at the bottom, all the way to the second row, the second to last row, which is the all the way to the last um, shade, which is this brown shade right here. Tap off the X's and then we're literally going to just work that here in the outer part. I'm not really going to drag this one over too much, just halfway, because what we're doing is adding a lot of depth. <laughs> oh my god. Into uh, this look. So, yeah. And then you want to press it. I'm literally like kind of pressing and just rubbing over, as you can tell, because, like I said, don't really want to drag it over too much. Then you're going to do the same to this eye. So now that I feel like both of them are um, pretty deep for right now. Oh, yay. A lot, an eyelash extension came off. The one I wanted to come off. It was kind of in a weird spot and it was bothering me. So I'm glad it came off now. Um, and then so now what I'm going to do is cut the crease with the LA Girl Concealer and the same brush I use as always. I'm going to do that really quickly off camera because we're only doing a half cut crease which is from the beginning to about the middle which is where we brought that dark brown in right now. So let me do that really quickly. Alright, so I went ahead and cut both of the crease as well. And um, now I'm taking this Wet n Wild brush. Um, it's just a fat flat brush and this elf makeup and mist and set uh, spray because I'm trying to keep everything drugstore like I said you could even spray your face so that way some of it can land on the wet concealer already and then the shade I'm going to be using today is birthday cake um, by Colourpop it's not drugstore but it's affordable um, and they're really affordable I think these are like five bucks to be honest I'm not really too sure but this is in the shade birthday cake and this is a super shock um, eyeshadow and so I'm just going to uh, press this into the shade. Mind you, my brush is already wet. So if I press it, it's literally going to just come right off onto the brush. And then we're going to start pressing the shade on. All right, so I went ahead and finished up both the eyes for the Super Shock eyeshadow. And then the next thing I'm going to do now is take the Morphe M506 brush. And if you want to leave the colors like this, it's totally up to you. It's like not too dark and not too dramatic, which is, like I said, totally up to you and your preference. But I'm going to go a little bit darker. So with this um, brush, I am going to be taking this darker brown right next to the first brown we dipped into, which is the second row. Um, second to last shade this one right here and then literally like a dash of this one which is really dark because I don't want to make it that dark and then I'm going to start pushing it in 
to this outer part here. You want to push over but slantedly so it can blend and the remaining you can also start pushing it over. Um, there's really not a lot of product left on here obviously from what I just dipped into. So it's just going to kind of help put everything together. So you see now it's much darker than this eye. Honestly this is a very natural go to look. I out of most clients I've done, whether it's baby showers, skin sweet sixteens, a weddings, um, you name it, I've done it. Um, this is the most, um, or even day nights, I've done day nights, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the most requested look. So I'll usually say, send me a picture or show me a picture of the time of your appointment and tell me what you want. And most of the time it's literally a look just like this and they end up loving it. It's very neutral very subtle but it really helps make the eyes pop as well and then there's color and glitter so like who doesn't love that you know what I mean but yeah I'm pretty much gonna leave the look like this um, I'm not gonna do anything else for right now we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into the face so for the face I am going to be using the Maybelline foundation I always use which is a super stay matte foundation <laughs> it's this foundation right here um, and I also wanted to say oh um, that I'm going back a very very old school if you're an OG from YouTube, you know This is a holy grail for a very long time on YouTube. Thanks to Nikki tutorials um, This is a Nivea men's sensitive pulse shave balm and it still works as a um, Primer so I said I was trying to stay drugstore So I'm going to put this on my face if you don't feel comfortable using this don't um, but I've used this before, so I'm okay using this as my primer. It has um, glycerin in it, I believe. That's what it's called. So it really helps your makeup stay. So that's why I'm using it as a primer. So go ahead and put some up here as well. You're going to want to give it a few seconds to dry so it can get pretty tacky. Um, and then if you have a fan also, you can also fan it out so it can get tacky faster. I really need to do something with this hair because it's supposed to be a cute ass Valentine's look slash, you know, you could use it for date night. And let's get real, ain't nobody going to go out with this hair looking all freaking trash like this. So at the end of the video, I'll somehow magically do my hair and then you guys can be super impressed by me, of course. And yeah, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation really quickly. I feel like pregnancy has been no joke like these bags are getting worse by the day because sleeping is so uncomfortable so I went ahead and finished up the foundation and we're gonna move straight into highlighting and contouring and this is the same um, concealers just that I'm using the medium beige to conceal and the shade fawn to contour I will say the only thing I dislike about these uh, concealers is the applicator but I mean you gotta work with what you got, right? You don't wanna do all this highlighting and contouring, then don't as well. This is just a full face that I would personally do on a date night, especially for Valentine's Day. Um, and my sponge is wet for the record. I have people who ask me if their sponge should be wet or dry. I personally would never use my sponge dry because I feel like it's just gonna like try to pick up the product and just kind of like smudge it around which isn't what I want I want it to blend seamlessly right into the skin like that so I'm gonna go ahead and you guys are about to watch this really fast all right so I'm finished for the most part and a quick a trick that I learned from Daisy Marquez's news video shout out to her um, with the I don't want to add any more foundation. She has just a tiny drop with her fingers on here to kind of blend everything together. But I'm not. I'm just going to use already what I had from the previous, like when I actually put my foundation on. And just kind of press everything into the skin so everything um, flows in evenly. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my two powders from the drugstore, of course. This is the um, flower powder and this is only found at Walmart that everything just keeps falling off my table okay let's just ignore the sounds um this is only sold at Walmart that I know of I've never seen this brand sold at any other um drugstore I don't even know is Walmart considered a drugstore maybe not but it's still they sell drugstore products there and then this is the um 
Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Not really too much a fan of this powder. I've used it twice though, so I don't know if I have a huge say. But I am going to be um, mixing both to really get that uh, set under eye that I want to achieve. So I'm going to start pressing this into the skin. Both. Um, the shades are a little different. So that's also why I wanted to use both because... Um, the flower one is more like on the, it has a little bit more of a color, like a nude. And the other one's like, not really banana, but more like white, like actually translucent. So I'm going to go ahead and set all of this. So I just kind of set the areas where I would normally set for right now. And then um, I'm going to go in with my, what brush is this? This is the KTB 163. I don't even know what brand this is, KTB, but I really like how precise this is. And with the two um, same setting powders, I'm going to go right under the cheek area here to cut the contour. Or to cut the cheek, I guess you could say. Just slightly drag it down a little bit. And then usually while this bakes, this is where I would put my lashes on, but because I have extensions, obviously I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into um, the bottom lash line. So I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette again because this is the palette that I am using for the full tutorial. And I'm going to be taking the, what is this, uh, e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And I'm going to be going into this shade right here, which is the first shade we dipped into when we started the look. And I'm just going to be running that all the way across the lash line here. Okay, so now that I'm done, I don't want to go any deeper with the eyeshadow underneath. That's actually how deep I am going to go. I'm going to go ahead and dust this all off with the Makeup Shack T27. Now that I'm done with wiping off all the powder, we're going to go ahead and jump right into setting everything. Um... Like as far as the powders and so forth. So I'm, next I'm going to be taking my Holy Grail, which is my NYC uh, Sunny Bronzer. And my e.l.f. Powder Blurring Brush. Dipping it in and just setting those contour areas. Okay, so now that I'm done with that also, the next thing I'm going to be using is the Milani Baked Blush. And this is a OG as well. If you've been here on YouTube overall for a long time, you know that Luminoso is a go-to of many OG YouTubers or watchers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the cheeks. And the thing I love the most about this blush, it has like a small, like, it's not like shimmery or shiny or glittery. It's like kind of like the perfect little sheen you need for your cheeks to just kind of glow. If you're on a date night, that's like totally what you need. Like smile at him, throw little kisses with your eyes or something, you know? But then, like, your cheeks are right there, and they're kind of, like, ting, like, blinding him. Secretly blinding him. All right. And last but not least, for the face, we're going to be going in with the Master Chrome Highlighter. I don't know what shade this is. This is the one that everybody was talking about for a very long time. Shade 100, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Makeup Spray Mist and Set. Spray my face. Ooh, that thing comes out real strong. And, of course, as always, my Morphe 310 brush. So spray that as well. And then go ahead and dip it in to the uh, highlighter. Oh, do you guys see this? Like, wow. He better pay for your dinner after this highlight. After you're gleaming all day, I'm night sitting there. All this work. I'm just kidding. I don't even know if most of you guys who watch this are going on any dates or anything but just saying you know what i'm saying all right so lastly i just uh put some lipstick on so i used the elf uh prayer praline uh what is this Liqu liquid matte lipstick um very inexpensive i believe that was six dollars as well and then i used the nyx mahogany lip pencil this is all mostly drugstore, like I said. I tried for you guys, and if not, it was definitely affordable. And I went ahead and just kind of curled my hair very quickly. It's still a little messy, but 
it's cuter than it was before right so anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's very simple for you guys and very cute and you guys enjoy your valentine's day regardless of what you do and who you spend it with um but yeah so i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys